AML or acute myeloid leukemia is a very aggressive blood cancer. Patients often present to their GP with non-specific symptoms, things like feeling tired, having more frequent infections than they normally would, uh, or having problems with bleeding or bruising. The way I explain AML to patients is by using an analogy of a factory. Uh, your bone marrow, uh, which is being replaced uh, by the leukemia, and normally produces red blood cells, white blood cells, and platelets. The red blood cells give you energy, carry oxygen around the blood. The white blood cells help fight infection, and the platelets help form blood clots. And uh, what's happening inside the middle of this factory is that the workers are doing the wrong thing. They're overproducing abnormal white blood cells. And these abnormal white blood cells are your leukemia cells. The leukemia cells uh, overwhelm uh, the production of the other uh, blood cells and that gives you your symptoms. We rely very heavily on genetic information to inform uh, treatment decisions in leukemia. Genes are the instructions for life. And uh, these genes are packaged in chromosomes, kind of like books in an encyclopedia. Now, the books in the encyclopedia, there can be mistakes. Uh, the books might be torn in half, or they might even just be spelling errors uh, within the words. All these things uh, will give us a lot of information about how this leukemia might behave going forward. Because of how rapidly progressive uh, this disease can be, we get treatment started straight away, wait for that further information to make decisions down the track. Diagnosis of leukemia is a life-changing diagnosis and patients are going to need a lot of support. And they'll meet many people along the way, so not only doctors, uh, but nurses, physiotherapists, occupational therapists and social workers to help navigate some of the emotional uh, complexity uh, and uh, social complexity that comes with a complete change in your life. We've come to understand leukemia a great deal over the last decade. Uh, more and more information, particularly genetic information, has allowed us to develop therapies that specifically target genetic abnormalities. Whilst we've learnt a lot about leukemia, there's still a lot that we don't know. And this is part of the ongoing drive uh, uh, for innovation. We want to be able to find out more about leukemia so that we can help improve patient outcomes.